Hi guys, today I wanted to show you something really cool that it's available in Unreal Engine 426 and above and it rests here in the plugins uh, folder. So once you click on that, you'll see something called the actor palette. And once you enable that, you'll be asked to restart the editor. And once you do that here in the windows, you have this new tab called the actor palette. Once you click on one of these, you get this pop-up. And the nice thing about this is now that you can populate this uh, pop-up with any level within your project. So we can uh, easily, for example, uh, come here and choose a, one of these levels. Here you will see that I have the um, Excite uh, level, which is the same that you're seeing in the viewport. Now, one thing to note is the way that you navigate. You navigate as you would in the viewport. Uh, the only difference is that you don't have access to the left mouse button, so you zoom in with the uh, scroll wheel and you pan with the right mouse button. And there is a reason for that, and I'll show you in a second. Um, apart from that, everything else is, uh, as you would find in the viewport, you have the uh, all the uh, usual um, parameters here, uh, the lit, unlit, the wireframe, you have uh, the perspectives, etc., etc. Here, again, you have the um, the levels that you can choose uh, and here are the levels that are available in the uh, project. Uh, here I have uh, the playground uh, scene uh, level and as you can see uh, you may get this black screen. I just wanted to tell you that uh, this is still under experimental phase so you may have uh, some issues but they're very minor and if you click on this again you should be able to see the level. So the great thing about this, of course, is that now um, you have the ability to use uh, all the levels within your project to drag and use the assets in a more intuitive uh, way. So as I said before, uh, the left mouse button is now um, used to select things in this actor palette and not for navigation. So for example, if I click on this chair, you will see you get this um, pop-up that tells you what you've selected. And if you drag your mouse over, you can see that uh, immediately this uh, actor gets dragged into the uh, main uh, viewport level that I'm working on. Um, you can also do this for any actor that is uh, in the um, uh, pop in the actor palette here. And uh, one thing that I did want to mention is that what does get dragged in is sort of the default uh, settings that you have set for each of the actors and not the instances. So for example, here in this chair, you will see that uh, I have the materials that I have assigned for this chair in the default material slots together with everything else that uh, I wanted. Uh, here in the uh, mesh details uh, panel and uh, if I click for example on this um, uh, cube and select this cube and drag it in you will see that even though here I have a material instance and I have scaled it down to 0 0.25 what does get dragged in is the default material that is on the cube and it does get dragged in at the default scale of 1 1 and 1 and we can see that also here if I come here to the uh, sort of this decal here this puddle decal and you will see again that this scale of this decal is at 1 1 1 and in this case uh, we would need to uh, scale it down so that it doesn't um, cover uh, the um, other uh, assets so this is something to bear in mind uh, but I still think this is a wonderful and intuitive way uh, to work in. Uh, the other thing that you can do is if you come here, you can open more than one uh, actor palette. So you can have up to four actor palettes and you can populate them all with uh, levels that, were, that are within your projects and uh, have a, a look at what uh, assets you have and drag them into this uh, working uh, level that... Um, is in your viewport. I think this was a little hidden gem that uh, Unreal uh, came out with in 426 and I wanted to share with you guys. 
Um, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, please uh, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching and take care, guys. Bye.